Hello friends, I'm Kisu, I make games. And today I'm trying a little bit of a different style of video. Here I'm just talking about game development and all the things related to it. If I can give you some pointers, any kind of help, some ideas, I'd be glad to provide that for you. I already make tutorials for Unity using the Adventure Creator toolkit. It is a handy tool. It lets you basically make games without knowing much about coding, which is great. Let's say you want to start making games. It is the year 2024. Big companies are in trouble, lots of layoffs, people are losing their jobs. I think now is a great time to become an indie. Nobody can tell you what to do. Just go and do your thing. I know it is hard, especially for solo devs like myself. But the thing is, you can really do what you want and no one can tell you otherwise. So let's say you are a beginner. Well, you actually already have everything you need to get started. YouTube is filled with tutorials for different topics, different engines, different everything. Go ahead and pick your engine. You could try out different engines, see what works best for you. Learn the basics of that engine. If you wanna do Unity, as I said, Adventure Creator tutorials are what I do. You can find those in my channel. There's also Godot, which is great because it's free and it's, it's open source and it's not owned by any big company that has the potential to ruin your career by making dumb decisions like something that Unity tried to do. That was great. And well, yeah, there's also Unreal. I think the learning curve is a bit higher on that, but it can make some very beautiful stuff. Unity and Godot are also able to do great stuff, so don't let that dissuade you from choosing any of those engines. I myself started with RPG Maker because, well, it's also a great way to make games if you don't wanna or don't know any coding. RPG Maker can be a good choice for a beginner to just to get the like idea of what is it like to make games. Just know that it has a bit of a stigma to it. And uh, well, some parts of the community are not great. I've been there. Anyway, regardless of what engine you choose, you really don't have to know everything about it to get started, because you learn more as you go. And just know, you can also use pre-made assets. You're not any less of a game dev if you decide to use assets made by different people. Always check the usage rights on whatever you're using, make sure you can use those. And a lot of the free assets, for example, ask you to give credit to the creator, so make sure to do that. But yeah, I don't think you're any less of game developer if you decide to use. I myself use a lot of assets, free assets, assets that I bought from Unity Asset Store. The characters, the pixel art characters I make, they are made by Visustella. The different parts of the characters, the different clothes and the bases of the characters, I use those. Then I just take the parts, I edit them, I modify them, change the colors, draw some items myself too, but the base of the art that I do is not made by me, and that's fine. You can do that. What I do with the 3D models, I've bought a bunch, I've downloaded a lot of free ones, I've went through all of them in Blender, I fixed the errors in them, there was a lot in free assets especially. Then I went ahead and textured all of them myself. I'm counting around maybe two, three thousand 3D assets that I've went in the past like couple years. And it's a lot of work, but it'll help give the assets your own personal look if you make the textures yourself. It's rather easy. I can make a tutorial on how to make textures, like from photos, for example. You could go out, take photos of the ground and grass and different materials and make those into a texture. It's quite easy and simple. And I'm specialized in pixelized textures, so that is what I would do if I'm going to do a tutorial on that. Let me know if you're interested. 
you could also use like for example the adventure creator it's a handy tool that you can use to make your games it has a lot of different commands in a way it's similar to rpg maker it has a list of commands that you can use but it's 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 a lot more and it's quite easy to modify the systems to do what you want if you have any specific things that you need to be done in your game it's rather cheap when you compare it to other similar types of assets where you can just download one asset and make a complete game. Just remember in the end, you are not any less of a game developer if you decide to use assets made by other people. Just make sure you have the usage rights to do what you want with them and credit those people. Also remember, if you're just starting game dev, start small. Nobody is going to make their dream game as their first game. Nobody is going to make a grand strategy or an MMO or anything huge like that as their first game. Start small. Different kind of walking simulators and, and horror is quite easy to make. RPGs are going to be a bit more complex for you to do. And just games that have a lot of different systems. Leave those alone for now. Just trust me on this. Start small. Make really small projects. Make several different projects. So you will learn more varied styles of like games and how to make those kinds of things. Also, one good tip I can give you is make something every day. Momentum is the key. If you stop doing it, you'll get lazy. It's very common. It's, it's, I've seen that multiple times, even with myself. If I don't do anything for a week, I'm very lazy and it's hard to start again. If you do something every day, things will be a lot easier and you will also remember all the things you've learned a lot better. Also remember to cut up your development to small tasks. It's a lot easier to manage small parts at a time instead of thinking the entirety of the game that you want to create. Cut it up to small parts and then manage each of those one at a time. Game development is fun, but it is also very hard, especially if you're going at it solo. I have been in a team before, but then I moved on to work as a solo game developer and I've done several different games. You can check out my games on Steam or itch.io. Some of the earlier ones are very simple, 2D graphics, very, very simple looking. A couple of my newer games are 3D and look a bit cooler, but generally all of my games have received positive feedback, so check those out. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos and let me know if you want me to keep making these and you can also suggest some topics that you want me to cover from someone that has been making games for a while now and I have learned a lot of different things and I know how to handle stuff because I have been through a lot. Trust me. To let me know that you want more of these you could leave a comment, leave a like and I will see you next time. And thank you to my top patrons Maisie K, Kenzie Main, Red Leader 327, Mika Autio, Brett Cruz, Jan Fredrik Feisten, Sean Hansen, I am Weiz, Jacob Nelson, Tritura Chan, Fmo, Brit Blade, Road to Vostok, and Isabel. You are my favorite people. Thanks.